stand still. All right, so I got this up, and I need to go here, and I need to pull this over to trim. Once I get it pulled over to trim, I should be all right. Okay, why ain't my video coming up? Hold on just another second, y'all. My video ain't coming up. Oh, boy. Can y'all see me? Somebody answer that. Can y'all see me? Y'all can see me? Okay, all right, good, good. Good, I just learned something new. All right, hold on one second. I need to get this to the trim page, and then I'm going to get in here. James 4 is the first place we're going to go to. Um, what is this? A fire in your word, you know it's true. Stand still. Till you tell me to move, I'll go away. Until I hear from you, tell me to wait for you to see me through. in your word, you know it's true. Oh, help me to wait on you patiently and alone. All right, James chapter 4, dealing with conflict is what we're going to talk about. And I didn't think that, I didn't see anything that was more interesting in the um, scriptural text than what I seen in James chapter 4 with, uh, uh, regarding dealing with conflict. So, James chapter 4, first off, let me... Let's grab a de definition of the word conflict. Let's get that first. A um, <laughs> conflict. The first definition I come up with, I will usually, a, a lot of times I'll just come off the dome with what the Lord gave me, but I Googled this here to see what conflict. It says a serious disagreement or argument, typically a protracted one. Another definition says to be incompatible or clash. All right, so again, conflict, a serious disagreement or argument, typically a protracted one. Second definition, to be incompatible or to clash. All right, so let's go into James chapter 4 and see what we can talk about and see. Let's see if we can find a resolve for it. That's what we need to do. We need to find a resolve for it because I don't think that um, we're going to ever be without conflict. There's always going to be some type of conflict, but if we can find a resolve for the conflict, then I believe that that's where things will get better. See, a lot of times what we do is, is we want other people to resolve our conflict when actually Recording in progress. it's our responsibility to resolve the conflict. And I'm going to show y'all by way of text. We're going to find it in the scripture about the resolving of the conflict. See, when I say we want other people, what I mean is, is we do things like this right here. If she hadn't have said that, you know, if, if he hadn't have did that, see, so we, we, we're we looking for somebody else to be the answer for the, 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 the resolve or the resolving of the conflict. So let's look at James chapter 4 and let's see if we can get some inner resolve, I, I need some people this morning that 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 want to work on themselves. That 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 that, 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 that look, don't get me started this morning, y'all. <laughs> I feel my help, Jesus Christ. I need some people, and before I even get started this morning, before I even mess with this, or do I need to go outside and talk to them dogs? I got four of them in the backyard. I can go out there and talk to them. If I can't get some people that want to deal with yourself, because that's what's going to have to happen this morning. 
We're going to have to see ourselves. That's what it's about. Do I have some people this morning on here with me that's willing to say, hey, I, 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 I'm, it might be ugly. I understand. I, I, it might hurt me, but I'm willing to look at myself this morning. Do I got a couple people that's willing to look at themselves? Yes, ma'am. Amen. Okay, I got a couple people that want that warrants me to move on. Yeah. Okay, good. I got some amens. That warrants me to go on. Because cause I'm going to tell you something about conflict. A lot of time, conflict is is the, the you have to look internally. You have to look at yourself. We are constantly always looking at somebody else where it's their fault that I did this. I've heard people say they made me do it. When you go back to the beginning of even how humanity or how existence of spirits came about, you will see where Adam did that. That was the first thing that Adam did when the Lord came to him and asked him, Adam, where art thou? And began to, he said, did you eat of that fruit that I told you not to eat of? The first thing he said was, it was that woman you gave me. Instead of him dealing with the conflict within himself to say, hey, I disobeyed and I need, you know, and I take the consequence of my disobedience. His thing was, was it was that woman you gave me. He immediately pushed it off somewhere else. One of the things I need to tell y'all is the first rule of of losing when it comes to resolving conflict is to look at somebody else. I, I hope y'all read it today. I'm going to come through here. I'm going to come through. That is the first rule in losing when you are dealing with conflict is to look at somebody else. You have to look at yourself, which is not always pretty. It doesn't matter how beautiful you may be in the mirror. When you look at yourself, because sometimes our inside don't match our outside. I, 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 I got any witnesses. Sometimes our inside don't match our outside. I, 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> we have on, I know the foundation I wear is MAC, and it costs a good little you know, a little bit of change is more than Maybelline. I can tell you that, you know, uh, Mac concealer, the Mac foundation, uh, even got the Mac setting spray. You know, uh, when I go over to re up my Mac, I spend a little over a hundred dollars just to get the few, just, just a few items of things that I use. So it doesn't matter how good it may look on the outside if it's not good on the inside. If it does not look good on the inside and resolving conflict is an internal thing. It's not an external thing. It is an internal thing. Conflict comes from with in conflict it is something that's going on within it's something that begins to mess with your mind it begins to mess with your emotions it just starts to hit all types of all the areas that's going on you've heard people say well they have some conflict going on over there that means there is some disagreements that's going on that means there's some clashing that is going on but today i want to talk about us learning how to deal with that conflict and dealing with ourselves Let's go to the book, James chapter 4. James chapter 4, starting at verse 1. James chapter 4, and I'm in the King James. I might go into another version just for a lighter context, but I'm going to try my best to give it to from where I get it from, the King James. And this is what it says, from whence comes wars and fightings among you. Paul said, what's up with all this? You know, was it, what, James, James, I'm sorry. says, what's up with all this? What's really, what's going on? What's up with all the bickering? You know, the fighting, the wars that's going on, that's happening among y'all. What? Why, why y'all ain't getting along? He says, come they not hence, even of your lust, that war. Look what he said it is. Somebody tell me what he said it is, where he said the problem was. In your members. It's inside you, ain't that what he said? He said, you tripping because you got a problem inside. You got, you, this war is coming from some stuff that's happening internally. You ever dealt with somebody and you realize that, oh, uh -uh, no, 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 no. What, she didn't even have to blow that up like that. She got something going on that's bigger than me. That didn't even have to go like that. 
and you realize that the problem that actually was happening was bigger than you, that it really wasn't your problem. It really wasn't your issue. They were struggling with something that was way bigger than you. That's This is what he's saying. What's going on with y'all? What's got you? He said, I need to help y'all. I, we got to talk this thing through. We got to get this thing figured out because it's something going on on the inside. That's that part inside of us as to where they say, wait a minute, what's wrong with you? And then you lie and say nothing. But then they come back and say, mm-mm, something's wrong. Something is something wrong. See, what they're saying is, is this internal. It's something inside, but you're masking it or you're macking it on the outside. But there's something that's going on on the inside. And so what I'm going to make sure that I convey over to you all to understand today is, is that we have to deal with what's going on on the inside. But I can only deal with what's going on on the inside of me. I cannot deal with what's going on on the inside of somebody else. I'm not responsible for what they have going on. I'm only responsible for what I have going on. So he begins to talk to them and he first notes to them when he comes straight out the stall with them he said the problem is is something you got going on on the inside that's the problem something you have going on on the inside that's the issue that's why it's very important that you talk about stuff it's very important that you deal with things that you have going on because it can cause a lot of First verse, I'm still in verse 1, James 4, verse 1. It can cause a lot of, what did he say, wars and fightings among you. Ain't that what he said? Or did I change the Bible? That's what he said. He said, because of what you got going on on the inside, it's now causing wars. Jesus, help me this morning, please. It's now causing wars and fightings to go on among you. So I know that you are used to blaming somebody else. I know that you think that it happened because he did this. I know you think that it, it happened because they did that. And that's not to say that they didn't do nothing because they probably did do something just like I've done some stuff before. So that's not to take away from what has happened, but it is because of the conflict that came about on the inside when you allow something to get on the inside I don't want to get ahead of myself but I want to help y'all to understand that when you when something gets in the inside to the point that it causes conflict I'm gonna tell y'all what that is that's something that you didn't talk about that you should yeah I, I wish I had some people this morning that really want to live this thing that really want victory I just need a few people that really want to walk victoriously in life. That's all I need. Just a few people. So I know my labor ain't in vain. It's because, Lord, help me on this morning, Heavenly Father. It's because you didn't talk about it and now it's become a conflict. Conflict is nothing but the result of something that was not talked about. Something that was not dealt with and it brought conflict because see conflict is internal. It's internal. That's what conflict it is internal. That's right. It's strife and strife will tear up something. I'm getting in now too. Okay. It is internal is something it is okay she did something or he did something and i should have talked to them about it but i didn't say anything about it so now it's messing with me internally it's now in my psyche to now it's done become a part of me so now i got conflict how do you know you got conflict because i'm looking at them different see because the way i used to see them i don't see them like that no more how do you know you got conflict because i used to could say good things about them but i just hold my mouth now i ain't gonna say nothing see when you can speak nice and speak well about somebody and when they have been so good to you so you 
say they fed you when you was hungry. You didn't have nothing. You didn't have a window, a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out, as the old folk would say. You didn't have anything, but those people showed up in your life and they were good to you in that point in time in your life. And you cannot even muster up enough out your mouth to even regard them for that. You got a conflict. You tell me, are you with me? I want y'all to bring it with me today. I'm ready. Y'all know I like to rumble anyway. Bring it to me. Argue the point with me. You got conflict. When there is conflict, you can't even say anything good. You won't even go back to say, you know what, uh, you know, our lives just turned past or what have you, you know, but um, I still thank God for what they did for me and all. See, you ain't going to be able to say